All right, guys. Welcome to All Play. Uh, we're doing another round of After Hours, and today, or tonight, rather, we're playing One Night Stand. Let's go ahead and hop into this. Ugh. My head. My stomach. I feel like crap. Last night, what happened? Drink. Lots of drink happened. I've had one of those nights before. Ah, what's that noise? My phone. Where is my phone? Are we gonna are we gonna see our phone? Is that the phone? Oh. Got it. Shh. Nate, what the hell happened to you last night? I have no idea, but thanks a lot for waking me up. Low battery, okay. Crap, my phone's about to die. Better plug it in before the battery runs out. Nope, can't plug my phone into that. Or that. Ah, my phone charger has to be around here somewhere. Wait, I don't recognize this bedside table. This isn't my room. My clothes, they're all over the floor. Am I? I'm completely naked. Um. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I guess I got lucky last night. This must be her room. I hope this is her room. But who is she? Mm -hmm. Mate, you totally bailed on everyone last night. You went to get around the drinks and never came back. WTF. All the girls were so pissed. I can't believe you. I ditched my date. So you could just bail on us all. Shit. Sounds like drunk me was up to no good last night. I've had one of those nights before. Hate to let my mates down, but I guess I, uh, I guess my mind must have been elsewhere. Sorry, I honestly don't know what happened to me last night. But guess what? I pulled. <laughs> that should shut him up. Did she be one of the girls from last night that Gary was talking about? Even if she was, I don't know anything about her. I can't even remember her name. Shit. I really can't remember anything that happened last night. I don't even know where the hell I am right now. Ugh. This hangover isn't helping. Now, I haven't had one of those nights before. I don't get hangovers. I don't get hangovers. Mm -hmm. Bullshit. One drink and you're off betting women? You're going to need a better excuse for ditching all your mates than that. Gary doesn't believe me. He sounds pretty pissed off. You feel to take a picture of her? If Gary's not going to take my word for it, I could take a sneaky picture. That would shut him up. What should I do? Uh, might as well. I mean, we're here. We're here. And Gary doesn't believe us. Might as well. Better to prove that I'm not a liar. This will show him. That's a clean picture. Not going to lie. One drink. Looks like I didn't need much Dutch courage. Ah, shit. My phone's completely dead now. What should I do? Um... Okay, so if I was in this situation, if I was in this situation, to be very honest, I'd go back to sleep. <laughs> I'd go back to sleep. Guess I'd just kick back away from this whole thing to blow over. Exactly. I could use some more sleep anyway. Ah, what the? Did she just throw the duvet over me? Jeez gone maybe she's a little freaked out about all this i know i am still i didn't really need i didn't really get a good look at her maybe she wants me to leave let's uh let's examine the room all this stuff that's here all right so let's oh let's not start with her wallet and let's instead start with the book it's a romance novel eyes of embrace 
sounds so soppy. <laughs> Can't stand this lovey dovey trash. How about this? This must be your wallet. I really shouldn't be looking through this, but then again, this might contain some useful information about her. A driver's license, an ID card, something with her date of birth, or name at least. Uh, should I look in her wallet? Yes. Here goes Netha. Looks like an ID card. Her name is Robin. And she's 22 years old. It's a funny looking ID card though. I wonder if it's legit. 22 years old? That's about what I expected. Seemed about that age from what I could tell. Uh oh. There's Robin. Oh hey. Hey. <laughs> I definitely hit her with a hey. I try to play everything off. Hey. Sorry about dashing out of the room like that. I hope I didn't freak you out or anything. It's okay. I was just a little shocked when I was suddenly smothered by the duvet. Sorry. As soon as I woke up, I just really needed to dash to the bathroom. Um, I'd rather not go into it if it's okay with you. Yeah, of course. Fine by me. Let's just pretend. Let's pretend like we cool and all. So, how long have you or have you been awake alone? Not really. My phone woke me up. Ah, I wonder what that noise was. It woke me up too. Ah, sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. This is a little awkward. I should ask something. Let's ask the time. Not so worried about the hangover. What time is it? Just coming to uh, 10 a.m. You um, you don't look so good. Are you feeling okay? You don't look so great. Are you feeling okay? Uh, I'm all right. Got to play it off. You got to play it off, son. This was this was part of the plan. Play it off. <laughs> Are you sure? Can I get you something? Mm, coffee. I'm not a I'm not a coffee person, but I need something to drink. Coffee. A cup of coffee would help me shake off this hangover. Nice. I'll go put the kettle on and see if we have some instant coffee in. Okay, that went well. She seems nice. Still, I'm no closer to finding out what happened last night. Uh, my phone. This looks like we broke something, maybe? Um, uh, a mirror. Clothes. Bookcase. Clothes. Uh, drawer. Let's look at the drawer. Looks like her underwear drawer. I'm not going to look through there. Well, that plan crashed quickly. What's this? It's a record player for listening to vinyls. Very old school. There's a pretty cool collection here. Some classic rock albums, movie soundtracks. Wouldn't mind listening to some of these. Second thought, I have no idea how these things actually work. Uh, I used to be a DJ, so I'm familiar with how record players work. They look delicate, too. I don't think Robin would be too happy she saw me playing around with them. <clears throat> An introduction to English, English literature. English literature and context. The rest of these look like textbooks around the same subject. Guess she's studying English literature at a college or university. There's also some DVDs. Hey, right, so we learned a few things about Robin so far. Hey, how are you holding up? How am I holding up? I have no idea. Um, yeah, fine. Well, I hope this helps. Is this another? Did she bring? Oh. I was going to say, <laughs> did, was that a click of alcohol? Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Thanks, it smells good. Well, it's not Starbucks, but hopefully it'll help shift that hangover. It's delicious. Feels awkward again. I should really ask about last night. She must know something. So, that was quite a night, huh? Yeah, it was all right. By the way, thanks. Huh? 
last night. I was feeling pretty down. I'd always brushed off the idea of meeting up with a stranger through a dating app. Aha, that must be how we met. We met through Tinder. Then, having the guy bail out on me in the middle of the date. Oh, so we didn't meet on Tinder. Eh? What an asshole. Okay, I think we can assume that the guy wasn't me. (laughs) I was really about to jump into a taxi, go home and shut myself in for a few days. Or for days. Really glad you showed up. You bought me a drink, you listened to me, and it cheered me up. I guess the night turned around thanks to you. So she got stood up last night. And I stepped in. Hey. <laughs> Maybe this explains why I accidentally abandoned Gary and my friends last night. Even if I can't remember anything we talked about. Don't worry about it. Although, I think I ended up abandoning my friends by accident. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. You're just a little pissed with me this morning. Didn't even realize you were there with friends. You didn't mention anything about it, uh, about them at all. Really? I was in a bar with Gary and a couple other people, I think. Hmm? You think? Seems like you don't remember much of what happened last night. Bah, she's on to me. What should I say? Uh, let's see. In this situation, I'd be honest. I'd say, no, not really. Not really, no. What? Really? You must be pretty confused then. I'll fill you in on what I know. Met around 11 p.m. by the bar at Paradox. Hey, that's a nice name for a club. Or a bar. Uh, You'd had a few drinks, but you didn't seem too drunk. You bought me a drink and we found a secluded spot to chat. We chatted for ages without being interrupted, even in a bar as loud as paradox. At the end of the night, we both had quite a few drinks. Neither of us were in a state to make good decisions. When the taxi arrived, we both jumped in. And I guess we ended up here. Okay. Uh, and then let's talk about what happened next. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you all about that. Oh, what a clown. That's everything I can recall. I don't know anything that happened leading up to that. Sorry. No, it's fine. Thanks for helping me fill in the blanks. Listen. About last night. Yeah? Going out, meeting a total stranger, and bringing them here, home. This isn't something I normally do. In fact, I've never done this before. Robin's never had a one-night stand before? Have you ever done anything like this before? No. In all honesty, no. I have not. No. No. I've not. That's reassuring. It makes me feel a bit less uncomfortable about the whole thing. You gotta say something? Oh. I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't want this to be typical. You mean, I mean, you're still here. You didn't sneak out before I woke up or whilst I was out of the room. I don't know. Clearly you were nice to me last night. I want to I wouldn't I wonder <laughs> I wonder if this would have been over had I tried to sneak out when she when I first woke up. <laughs> would that just be the end of this? <laughs> the part of me thought you'd want to leave as soon as you woke up. But you're still here. I mean that in a good way, of course. She's happy I'm still here. I guess I managed to make a good impression, all things considered. 
Listen, we didn't really get to know each other that well last night. I ran it about my date and life troubles. I've talked enough about me. Tell me about you. Huh? Tell me something about you. Um, I know this might sound strange. But if we get to know each other a little better, then maybe this could be different. Different? Like, maybe this doesn't have to be as weird as just two strangers hooking up. She's trying to start a relationship. I don't know. Sure, I guess. But what should I tell Robin about myself? Should I talk about... Let's talk about my hobbies. Well, I guess I'll start with... Ugh. Huh? Sorry, we're here. I'll be right back. She's gone. That was strange. She just she turned pale as soon as I opened my mouth. Wonder if I could find out anything more about her. All right, so we already looked at the bookcase and we found out that's her underwear drawer. Uh, we looked at this book in her wallet. I guess we drunk this. What's this? It's some panties. Ooh, frilly. I'm almost certain they're not mine. <laughs> Clown. Oh wait, can I do the guitar? Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice guitar. I bet this is worth a lot of money. I think I know how to play a few chords, but now isn't really the time for that. And then we got my phone, my clothes. This, let's find out what this was. It's a pile of, oh, it's magazines. Those, those are some very hard looking magazines. <laughs> There's some music and gaming mags in here. Some of the articles sound pretty interesting. Shame I don't have time to read them now. Hey, are you okay? Not really. Sorry, I just felt really sick all of a sudden. Maybe it was something I ate last night. Too much drink. Is that my phone? Wait, my phone is still dead. What? What the hell? Huh? My friend just sent me a naked photo. Of me? Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Did, did you take a picture of me while I was sleeping? Shit. Did Gary somehow... Um... Oh my god, you did something like that? This is all over my Facebook feed. People are sending me all sorts of weird messages. Great. Now I'm a pervert. Oh god, what am I supposed to say to my friends? What about my family? My brother uses Facebook. What's wrong with you? Why did you do this? Um, oh, none of these are good answers. <laughs> none of these are good answers. I need a proof of memento or dot, dot, dot. I'm going to say I need a proof just because I'm going to tell the truth. A memento is not going to make sense because she's going to ask who I sent it to. And then dot, dot, dot sounds like I'm going to be sitting there with a duck face looking dumb. So I'm going to do, I need a proof. I need a proof. My mate didn't believe that I pulled last night. So my feelings, my dignity, great, great. All to prove to some guy that you had sex last night. What else have you got on your phone? More pictures, videos? Delete them right now. I swear I don't have anything else on my phone. The battery is dead. Please just get out of here. Well, guess I messed up. <laughs> I guess I messed up. You can't remember last night. Now I wish I didn't. I couldn't either. Grab your things and just, just get out of here. Well, I goofed. You quickly gather your belongings and leave. Robin doesn't say anything else. Robin stays in the room while you fumble with the front door lock and exit. You didn't expect her to get so upset. You walk hesitantly down the street, wondering how you're going to get home. That was awkward. I wonder if things could have been different. Well, I goofed. 
Okay, so apparently there's many multiple endings. I'm not going to go through every ending. I might play this again and revisit and see if I can get a different ending, one that doesn't end with me uh, upsetting this woman, upsetting Robin. So we'll see. I'll try it again. I'll try it again some other time. But this was One Night Stand. I'll leave all the information in the description below so that you can check out this game if you want to as well. Uh, I'll catch you guys later with more here on Alt Play After Hours. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe so that you can see more as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching.